In this tutorial, we're going to be discussing how to use if else statements, well, just if statements right now. So, if we were to open up our actions panel, you'd say I have this code. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to apply a block comment. I'm going to get back to it, but right now I'm not going to. So, what are if statements? Basically, it's well, it's like a conditional statement, meaning like if this happens, then do this. So that's basically what it is. If something happens, then do this. So like, um, like if you get shot 20 times, if that happens, then you die. And that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is that I made a variable and it's going to be name. It's a variable. It's named H. It's going to be a number. And it's, I set it the value to 20. Now we're going to write if I'm going to put parentheses. Going to put um, parameters, I mean brackets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in if. So if means if whatever happens in this these parentheses. So I'm going to have to write in something in here. So I'm going to type in h is greater than 15. Then do this trace. Um, uh, this works. I mean, the value is greater than 20. Then 15, I mean. So, what's basically happened is that I made a variable, and this if statement says if h, which is 20, is greater than 15, then trace this. So, if I play this movie now, it turns out 20. Is, is greater than 15. If I were to switch this with is less than, and we play this now, we don't get anything. So, back to our thing. And what this rule we're going to do now is we're going to switch this back. And there's more than one statement you can do less than, greater than, um, greater than or equal to so this is it can be either greater than or it can be equal to the number less than or equal to equals and does not equal and what this basically means the equal thing meaning that the number has to equal now why don't we why did we use one equal for here and two equals for this because when you're setting one equal sign you're basically saying it is equal to that it isn't comparing when you when you type in double equals you're, you're comparing them so so h i mean the variable h is 20 you're not comparing that h equals 20 because it would be false and that wouldn't work so you're saying that h is 20 and when you put double equal signs if you put that instead you're going to say h is um is compared to 20 which it isn't so that would be false so the and the last one is not equal to Meaning that the numbers are not equal no matter what they are. So if 20 is, and you put this 20 on the other side, this would be false. If they were one side was 19, the other side was 20, this would be true. So those are the different conditional types. Now I'm going to erase this. I'm going to go back to this. And we're going to be learning how to make compound. Um, let me undo that. Let me remove comment. Now, a compound, I'm going to erase this part right here. Now, you see that we have h is greater than 20, and these two signs right here, and we have h is less than 25. What this means is that this these two ands right here means and. So, if h is greater than 15 and h is less than 25, then do this, which is trace great. So if we were to run this, it would be great. If we were to write, um, switch these, and now run it, we wouldn't get that now, cause well, let's say let's go back to let's switch this back to h is greater than 15, which is true, cause 20 is greater than, um. 15, but 20 is not greater than 25, so if we were to run this, it still wouldn't work. The other option is OR, which is just two lines, 
which means h is greater than 15 or it can be h is less i mean 20 is greater than 25 which isn't true so it can be either one if one of them is true then the, the if statement will work so if we were to run this it it's true because h is greater than 20 15 but h is not greater than 25 now let's see you can combine these both by going i'm gonna undo this a bit okay i have h is greater than 15 and h is less than 25. this is true they both have to be true or these two can be true and that's how you separate it and if you were to run this it is true so that's how you write use um these and or or but remember this means or and this means and and that's pretty much it for this tutorial thanks for watching